ach du Scheiße, was ist das? Das unsichtbare Haus. Das unsichtbare Haus? The desert stretches endlessly, a sea of sand and rocks under the scorching sun. The train feels ancient, carved into the earth by eons of natural process. The landscape is Bis jetzt ist es wirklich unsichtbar. harsh and unforgiving, evoking the sensation of being on an alien world. But amidst the barrenness, es wäre so witzig, wenn er einfach sagt, wir haben es gesucht, wir haben es aber nicht gefunden und dann Videos zu Ende. <laughs> a glimmer of hope shines in the form of a glass house. What the fuck? Der will mich ficken jetzt, oder was? The architecture is unique. What the f... Fusion of modern design reflecting the rugged landscape. It's a symbol of resilience. What the f... Standing strong against the harsh elements. It is the invisible house. What the fuck? Er fährt in Mutti's G-Wagon vor. Hey everyone, welcome to jo Bruder. Joshua Tree, California. Today we're touring this incredible property designed by Chris Henley and Tom Masinski and it is unlike anything we have ever seen before. So also sowas habe ich noch nicht gesehen. Ich habe nur gesehen, dass es mal die das haben da die äh, hier die Saudis haben noch mal so ein, so, ein, so eine Struktur the line versucht. Once again, welcome to the invisible house. Let's go over the inside. Bruder, ich habe mal einen Horrorfilm gesehen, wo das Pärchen, was in so einem Haus wohnt, irgendwo im Desert, auf jeden Fall übelst, übel, also. So, an so invisible sieht das gar nicht aus gerade. Warum gibt es sowas? This home is striking and unique. We have these massive glass panels and these glass panels have mirrored finish and that's how we get this structure to reflect the surroundings around us. Thus the name Invisible House. Now, this section of the property has a foundation that goes into the ground, but on the other side we have two concrete caissons floating the rest of the structure where we have the primary bedroom suite. Now coming here, small patio, these sliding glass doors open up to the junior primary bedroom and coming to this side, we can see the hillside that this house is located right next to, massive boulders, amazing scenery and this walkway takes you to the entry. Haben die einen Nest gebrunnen oder wo kriegen die ihr Wasser her? So we have the sliding glass doors opening up to the property. Stunning space. I can't wait to show you what's on this side. But first, let's turn this way. Setback columns, walls of glass, incredible scenery. And now, let's cover the specs. So we have three bedrooms, four full baths, 5,500 square feet of interior space, situated on a 90-acre plot, which is the biggest privately owned plot right next to the Joshua Tree National Park. It is available for short-term rentals, managed by Field Trip. Ah, es ist nur zum Renten, alles klar. Owned by Chris Henley, so I want to give big thanks to them for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information in the description of this video. Without a doubt, the coolest Airbnb in the world, in my opinion. 
Yeah. Ennis and I have had our eyes on this property for a long time. Um, we're excited to finally get in here. It's kind of one of those iconic photography locations and uh, iconic Joshua Tree locations, you know? It is the invisible house. I mean, it's so cool. Yeah. And let's continue our tour. Now, we have this opening taking us to the junior primary bedroom. These rooms are not like the typical rooms that we tour on our channel. This bedroom is very unique. Alter, ich würde ja total einen Schaden kriegen. Wenn man von außen reingucken kann, Digga. We have the built-in bed here made out of marble. And they use the same marble as a back wall. Stay field trip, vacation, rental, invisible house. Ron, was kostet das? Temporary. Was kostet das die Nacht? Bed, super comfortable. War doch verspiegelt. Aber wenn von innen Licht ist, kannst du reinsehen. Kann man doch nicht. Aber du kannst reinsehen. Wir haben doch reingesehen. Modern light fixtures. And obviously... Room gets ton of natural light because we're surrounded by walls of glass. The good thing is... Da ist doch keiner. Drei Riesen die Nacht. Dafür, dass ich mir auf den Pimmel stand lasse, oder was? You can see outside very clearly, but they cannot see you from the outside. These windows are all mirrored, tinted essentially. And you can just open up these sliding glass doors and enjoy the scenery. This is incredible. I'm Sieht ein bisschen aus, als würde man auf dem Mars wohnen. Never been in a place like this before. Yeah, we uh, are very close to Los Angeles, but we rarely get the opportunity to actually visit. We're two hours away from Los Angeles. Yeah, that's right. And this is our first time in Joshua Tree. All right, I'm gonna close these sliding glass doors. We have polished concrete floors, modern light fixtures, great volume, and yeah, this is the junior primary bedroom. Now, this hallway takes us to the junior primary bathroom. Same polished concrete floors, and I'm going right in. Look at this walk-in shower. This is crazy. Stainless steel wall panels, rain head above. It's all open, and on top of that, they have these invisible branded towels throughout the property where you can hardly see it. How cool is that? I like that. You have your toilet, mirror, really cool light fixture, vanity on this side. <laughs> right. Very unique. Stell ich mir mega vor, entspannt durch die Bude, was? Da in der Bude rumzulaufen, gefühlte Freiheit und gleichzeitig kann ich niemand sehen. Very modern bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can check out the main space. Now the Bro. The focal point of this main space, Bro, is the 100 foot heated pool that is against the west wall. These are fantastic. Senior is amazing. And you have a heated pool. In the center of ich sag doch, wenn drinnen Licht brennt und es draußen dunkel ist, dann ist da nichts mit Spiegel. Die gucken dir auf den Schwannes. Of your home. So cool. Yeah, we have seen some uh, interior pools before, but never one like this. Not at this extent. Yeah, exactly. You have your open ceilings, industrial feel, first seating area on my right hand side. And in fact, Mikey, can we take everybody outside for a second? I want to show this side view. So this property... Wer denn? Keine Ahnung. Irgendwelche Leute, die da hingehen und sagen, ich will mal Nigel Houston's Pimmel sehen. Irgendjemand. Oh, shit, ...is situated right next shot. to a hillside with these boulders and this scenery. It's like a movie. Yeah, and the reflections you get all around the house from the rocks... Uh, and the other side of the house is, is, is unlike anything we've ever seen. Without a doubt. And I really appreciate how they built this house, how it's integrated to the landscape. And then you have the mirrored walls, which helps it blend even more. I've never seen a structure like this before. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I wish they had these kinds of homes all over the country. I could see these in woods. I could see these in deserts. Like, they would blend anyway. You know? I totally agree. All right, back inside. Another seating area, I gotta show this. Well, two details here. Number one, this is the coolest chess set I've ever seen in my life. It's all brushed metal pieces, such a curated accessory, and check this out. This is the owner's next project. Abfall? They're calling it the Starburst House. Hat hier keiner Breaking Bad gesehen? In der Wüste geht krasser Shit ab. It is built out of 20 containers. Really? And they're building it here in Joshua Tree. How cool is that? 
Oh, cool. It, it, it looks like something you would see on like another planet, you know? Yeah, it looks like a UFO yeah. that landed in Joshua Tree, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. Amazing. All right, let's continue. Right next to the seating area, we have this dining table, stainless steel dining top, pie. seating for 10. Even the chairs are so futuristic. Look at the angles here. And it is right next to your 100 foot pool. I've never been in a space like this before. I can't get over this hillside right here. This. Die Decke ist einfach nur faul, Alter. Rocky, deserty landscape, views. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. Hä, da unten ist doch ein Haus, oder nicht? Warte mal. Da ist doch ein Haus. Hier. Was ist denn von wegen. Da ist doch. Da ist doch. Da, da ist doch jemand. I uh, am really excited to see what this looks like when the sun goes down. Look at these lounging chairs, that glass coffee table, and obviously we have more sliding glass doors opening up to that wall. Unter der Hausmeister oder was? Way, automatic shades throughout, and this is where we have the main seating area. I really like these. Das ist von dem Wachmann? Das ist doch nicht von dem beschissenen Wachmann. Das ist, da wohnt irgend so ein Hilly Billy, Alter, der sein Land nicht verkaufen wollte. Und die haben dieses komische Invisible House um ihn rum gebaut. Für den ist das aber gar nicht so invisible. Modern sectional couches. Da drüben ist noch eins, hier. Scheint gar nicht so invisible zu sein. Da wohnen die Campbells drumrum. Light fixture above, glass coffee table, breathtaking views. We have another table on this side. And right across from the seating area, we have this 86 inch LG TV. And I really appreciate that they have the TV on the stand with tires. That way, you can move this TV wherever you want. And because they have glass walls throughout, they ended up recessing in their plugs on the floors. Now, before we leave, Mikey, one more detail. There's a sliding glass door here, and that's why we have this glass railing. And they ended up putting this glass railing to the interior. That way, on the exterior, they protect that monolithic look. But at the same time, you have your protection. You can just open up the glass and enjoy the scenery. Now, let's check out the next space. Kitchen. I really like this long island design. This is so weird. You have your bar seating here, first sink, white flat panel cabinetry, and you have two smaller sinks here, induction cooktop, marble countertop. This is the same marble that we saw at the junior primary bedroom. Pendant lights above, and on this side, look at this glass stand. My <laughs> Come on, bro. Also, es gibt eine Menge Möbelhäuser, wo ich so ein Glass Stand kaufen kann. Microwave, Toaster, Coffee Maker. Look at this Glass Stand, hä? Huh? Bro. Bro. And since this is a short term rent. Look at this Glass Stand, hä? Huh? So property, they provide old accessories, appliances, utensils, towels, everything you need. So you can just come in and enjoy this house. Now, on the other side, rest of the built-ins. Freezer, fridge, two ovens. And the way this kitchen is designed can easily accommodate large events, large groups with catering. And yeah, I feel like we're on Mars right now. Es ist wirklich, so fühlt sich's an. In a futuristic ja. modern home. Ja, es sieht, also modern ist da nichts auf dem Mars. Das ist eher verschwenderisch, aber es fühlt sich ein bisschen wie auf dem Mars an, ja. This is, I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, I, I, uh, das I ist wirklich krass. Also das ist wirklich krass. Life magazine when I was a kid and they would have these conceptual drawings of like the way homes would look in the future. Uh, this was a 1950s magazine, and this is always what they looked like, you know? It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's this crazy... Also, ich sag ganz ehrlich, ne, wenn die Sonne direkt einstrahlt auf den, Lapp, auf den Lappen da, ne, auf den Glaslappen. Hypermodern, monolithic structure that contrasts so nicely with the landscape of Joshua Tree. The invisible house is near a stretch of desert where two distinct ecosystems meet. The lower elevation Colorado desert and the higher and cooler Mojave desert, which provides a natural habitat for the job. Oh, jetzt redet er über die Architektur hier draußen oder was? Ja, das will ich jetzt nicht sehen. Ich will noch mal reingucken. Most walls of glass facing the views. There's actually another sliding glass door here. And looking at the room, another king size bed, built in marble bed frame. You have some cabinetry for your clothes, light and bright. And this is your open walk-in shower. Which huh? is just, I'm going in there. And you have a stone base, rain head above, stainless steel panel. So futuristic. Yeah, it is like you're on a spaceship. That's right. 
And Mikey, let's show this. This is the half bathroom. You have your vanity here, toilet, light fixture. This is the second bedroom. Now, let's go back to the main space so we can hit that hallway and go check out the primary bedroom suite. The primary bedroom? That's one of the primary? So, can we show this mirror piece for a second? Yeah. It looks like a mirror, but it's not because right on the other side, we have another full bathroom. Oh. This is essentially for the main spaces. We have the vanity here, medicine cabinet, and on the other side, we have a walk-in shower. And the mirror that I just showed you is actually not a mirror. It's a glass piece where we can see the other side, but they cannot see in. Why though? In fact, this pocket door is the same way. I can see outside, but they cannot see me. Just like on the exterior, they're basically two-way mirrors. Correct. Yeah. Now, on the hallway, we also have the laundry room, washer, dryer, okay. cabinetry, or a storage area. And then we have this, again, pocket door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. Boah. This is definitely going up there as well. Digga, da vorne ist ja übel die Wohnsiedlung. The coolest spaces we have ever toured for so many reasons. The engineering, openness, accessories, finishes, details. I mean, this room is very unique. First off, let's talk about this double glass bed frame that weighs over 2,500 pounds. <laughs> right across from that, we have this glass railing. These are sliding glass doors that open up to Juliet balcony. That way you can really soak in these views, which are incredible. Now on the other side, we have a small chair and check this out. What's this? The invisible house comes with its own invisible guitar. It has to. This was Joe Perry's guitar. I think I'm holding it upside down. Really? There you go. That was Joe Perry's guitar. Correct. Wow. How amazing is that? That's really cool. And those acrylic guitars are actually deceptively heavy, aren't they? They are heavy. Yeah. That one definitely was. Yeah. And I'm just out of words. Come on, follow me. Look at the Warum hatte der gerade nur so einen Gitarrenstiel in der Hand? This open bathroom design. You know what this property reminds me? Mix of the Schiess Goldstein residence on the interior and 277 Fifth Avenue on the exterior. It's like a hybrid of both. Yeah, I, uh, I can't think of the Fifth Avenue location, but I definitely see what you're talking about with Goldstein. And this property was featured... Warum sind die Sachen immer so gebaut, dass andere beim Pimpon zuschauen können? Für den Voyeur King. There's so many different TV shows, music videos, articles, list goes on and on. It's very popular, that's why we wanted to come here. It's kind of like a high fashion shooting location, you know? Exactly, and then you'll look at the scenery. I mean, it's an experience to just walk around, really. We've been here for what, like Mikey? Seven, eight hours? Yeah. And it's been just fascinating to walk around. But even though it looks this desolate, you're like 10 minutes away from Joshua Tree downtown. Like, there's civilization around the corner. Ah, okay. Yeah. But once you enter this property, you're on your own, and it feels like you're on a different planet. Also, abgesehen von den Häusern, die ich direkt aus meinem Fenster sehen kann, hier hinten. Wenn es hinter dir. Dreh dich mal links hinten, da kannst du doch Häuser sehen. Yeah, it really does. Now, right in the center, look at this freestanding tub, brush knuckle fixtures, reflective surround, and we have this light fixture above, two sinks, it's a medicine cabinet. I don't know if you realize this, Michael. Let's see. Okay, das ist das ist einfach wild. That scared me seeing you open that. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty wild. sleek, huh? Yeah. And then that's is wild. And we have the water closet here, and on the other side, I love. Das ist das wildeste, das ich in diesem ganzen Haus gesehen habe. These open showers. Wie er den Medizinschrank da geöffnet hat oder die Spiegelabdeckung. All stainless steel, rain head above. I mean, you have your black house, but it's a very private property. You can just take a shower here and uh, soak it all in. Yeah, and I have to say this, I don't know if we already said it, but although this home gets more natural light than I think any home we've ever seen, all these windows are extremely tinted. So yes. for me, it makes it perfect to expose to the outside. But uh, if you're staying here, you're not just blasted by sunlight all the time. I totally agree. And you just open up these sliding glass doors and look at these views. Glass, steel, and concrete. Glass, steel. The basic building blocks for most all modern architecture. But this home shows that these materials, when combined in creative ways, can give rise to buildings that inspire awe and wonder. 
It is such a contrast to see a modern. Also dieses Haus ist einfach nur ein Kick wie. A structure like this. In a landscape like this, where you es wird besonders keck weh, wenn du, sie wenn du siehst, was drumherum ist. Dann ist es so, hä? You have boulders, was? sand, trees, these views. In a way, it doesn't make sense. But once you put it all together, it makes perfect sense. So eine Verschwendung von Ressourcen. I mean, look at this home. It's unbelievable. And I'm so glad. We got the opportunity to tour this property at the extent that we did and share it with all of you. And now, let's fast forward a few more hours so we can see this glowing skyscraper at dusk. Ja, und jetzt als wenn es dunkel wird. Hä, das spiegelt ja gar nicht mehr. Plötzlich Pimmel raus. This place looks insane at night. Nee, fühle ich nicht, fühle ich nicht. Alright everyone, that's it for the tour. What a day it was touring the Aber wild, also in, wild einfach. Das ist natürlich ein, ein verrücktes ein verrücktes Haus, ne? Ich würde gerne fettige Chips essen und jede Scheibe anfassen. Boah.